Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Do you feel hopeless today, my friend? Have you been frustrated, desperate, depressed, perhaps? I understand. Not everybody is going through the same kind of experiences. Some people are very happy today with their employment, with their financial situations, but not everybody. Some people are very happy with their love life, but not everybody. Some people are very healthy and they are doing exercises and going places, but not everybody. Everybody goes through difficulties in life and from time to time, you will experience desperation. Even you can feel hopeless. What is the meaning of being hopeless? The meaning is that you just feel that there is no hope for you, right? So for example, if you work for somebody, a company for a while, and suddenly you don't have a job, you are jobless, you just feel hopeless. You feel that what's the point, right? Hopeless about love or hopeless about health because reports that you have received from doctors or your physical condition. Hopeless is, is, is a very hard situation for people to live. But today I want to give you hope if you are hopeless. Some practical things that you can do, my friend. Number one is to be honest with yourself. You have to analyze exactly why is that you feel hopeless. And when you are honest with yourself, you need to say to yourself the reasons why you feel that way. You know, sometimes you can say that you you feel upset for this or that, but you are hiding the truth. You are not really facing the facts of your desperation, your frustration, and that won't help you. You need to be honest with yourself. Why is it that you feel hopeless? And when you come to that conclusion, you need to face the feelings about it. And if you feel like in that moment you must cry because you realize how hopeless the situation is, you should cry. Some people don't know what is to cry. Some people cried many, many years ago for something and they have not cried ever since. And some, somehow they feel numb. Well, when you are hopeless and you are honest with yourself and you are totally aware that your situation makes you feel hopeless, you should cry. There is something about your emotions that the, the true, sincere, crying out desperation of the tears, for example, or simply uh, without even having tears in your eyes, but the feeling of uh, abandonment or pain, it will be okay. It is okay for people to cry if they are hopeless. And I think it's necessary for people that are desperate to reach that point. Somehow it's like uh, just let the emotions control and cry because somehow that will help you to move to the next thing that I want to tell you. You know, if you are honest with yourself and you are able to cry, to, to say what is the reason why you feel hopeless, you have arrived to the first step. The next step is to find out someone that you can talk to about this situation. Speaking with someone but not just anybody. No, somebody that is able to, 
to have a decent conversation about your problem. Ideally, somebody that is uh, mature, somebody that is wise, somebody that cares for you, somebody that loves you. An individual like that will help you because that person has a better understanding of life. If it's mature, right? If it's a person with experience, and especially if this person loves you, is going to take his time or her time with you and ask you questions. And between the two of you, you are going to study better the situation. It is incredible how much healing you will experience by doing these two things that I just told you. Crying out by yourself or crying itself it will help you. Speaking with someone that cares for you, speaking about this particular problem will help you greatly. And uh, the next step is when you start to look Look and search in the Bible, Bible verses that talk about your particular situation. It is incredible how many Bible verses, we call them scriptures, how many scriptures talk about whatever you are going through. Let me give you just a couple of examples. The book of Psalms, David wrote, good part of those, those psalms, the King David, a warrior, a conqueror, a great hero, but also he messed up big time. So in that book, you will find moments where he was so happy and also when he was so depressed, when he was so strong in the Lord and when he felt so guilty for his own sins. There are many scriptures that you will find in the Bible that you will connect with and that will allow you to start a new level of life, more spiritual, to understand the reasons why the Lord God is allowing those things happening to you. Probably you don't think that it's a good thing to be hopeless, but I disagree. I disagree for one reason, being hopeless will take you to the place where you can only look up to heaven. Because it's in the Lord God where you can really find peace in life. And not just the peace that you need now, but you will find the hope for the future here on earth. And the best hope is the rewards and blessings that will come to you on the other side of eternity in the afterlife. Let's say that for real, there is no hope for you, whether it's for work or love or health or whatever the problem. Let's suppose for a moment, there was no hope for this problem here on earth. Think about this. What if all that was just a tool to take you to a place where you start to search for God with all of your heart and you find Him. And then you see the door that will take you to heaven in Jesus, where you finally will find the true love in God and experience in Jesus eternal life. Do you see? We have hope even for the hopeless. Hey, 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 hey! That's all, that's all, that's all, folks! <laughs> Time to go home! <laughs> Ciao! By Giancarlo Vicitoro I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, 
humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardworth. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video.